next installment in my woodworking video series, eh? That sounds all important, right? Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to your new toilet seat, eh? Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is take a look at what we're going to try to replace. So what you can see with these old toilet seats is that they really wear out. You get paint chips, that's not the bad stuff that smears on, this is the paint smeared off, you know. So there's little chips there, there's water damage. So what we need to do is make something that won't have water damage so much. So we've got this across the seat and we'll, we'll, we'll take a measurement here to see just, just how big it needs to be. Looks like 15 inches. And yeah, if we had about 15 inches. Inch, inch, uh, yeah, if we had about 15 inches. In, inches. Okay. Um it's clean. It's alright. So well, yeah, if we had about 15 inches square. Okay, so like, welcome back to my show, eh? Um, you might notice that the camera work might seem a little bit different, eh? But that's because it is, because there's a new camera person. Because the last camera person couldn't keep from laughing, and that, that's not right. Laughing at a man when he drops his tape measure. I love that tape measure. Almost as much as a man can love a broom, you know. But it's okay. I was able to find another one a lot like it. So I'll get over it. And we have a new camera person who can be quiet. So here we are to the next part. We're going to plane the pieces of cedar so that we can make the toilet seat and get them glued together. So. We don't have to worry about sniping on the end so much with the planer because it is just pieces of wood and we can have a little bit of overrun on the ends, you know. So on the end, I'll just let it go through without having a sacrificial piece, eh? So at the beginning of every show, the woodworkers all say, you have to wear your safety glasses and be careful and all that, but I'm not going to do that. So it's time to play the woody. Okay, so now what we need to do is to cut the boards and make them the right size to uh, get glued together for our toilet panels. So um, 15 inches is a rough approximation, so it doesn't matter if we're off by a saw blade or so. So I'm not going to be very precise with the measurements, I'll just mark them at 15 and then we'll cut them at 15. Okay. So, joint, joiner, joinering, joint, joint, joiner, joint, joining, joint, joints, and joint, joint. Okay, so now that these sides are all, uh, you know, straight and flat and stuff, hey, so we're just going to like glue them together now.
okay? So you need a little bit of weight to hold it together, right? So the, uh, the glue is all dried now and we picked it up and I've drawn a toilet seat shape on it. Now this is for me. I will leave the, uh, the uh, design up to you for yourself because you know, you know your own butt better than I do. So you can make your own design. This will work for me, I'm pretty sure. So now it's time to cut it out, eh? This is for a different project, you know, but I just really wanted to use the dado stack, right? Don't mess with Dr. Beans, eh? Okay, so we've got it all cut out now. But uh, in order to ensure a good fit to your posterior, that's, that's this part, you know. Um, what you need to do is, is take it in for a test fitting. So a little privacy now is a good thing. Um, okay, so maybe what you should do is, is uh, sand it before you try to test fit it. That can have unwanted consequences, you know. Uh, did you know that uh, they discriminate against woodworkers in the emergency room? They make you wait till everybody else is gone, and then they do you. Doesn't seem right, you know. So, now we're going to sand it, and it'll be okay after that. Okay, so we've got to sand it down now, and it feels pretty good to the hand, but the edge here would really cut into your bottom. So, what we're going to do is we're going to round it off with the router here. With power. Uh, it, it's pretty good, it rounds off and makes, makes round parts out of pointy parts. So we'll do that now and we'll be getting closer to done, eh? I don't know, eh? I think Norman Abram could have pulled a better toilet seat than that out of his head. Hey! Isn't this really shaping up to be a great toilet seat? Okay, so it's pretty nice, but now we need to make it nice and soft. Softer than a baby's. Well, actually, softer than your butt. So, um, just a little bit of sanding now, and uh, we'll be pretty close to done. Okay, so now that we've got it sanded down, and uh, what we need to do is come up with these little doodads that uh, space in the things out from between each other. Eh? So, we've got them here, here, and as I pointed out, there and there. Eh? So, what we just need to do is get a couple quick measurements here. How thick these jumpers are, and about how far apart they are, and, and, and for the long ones, how how uh, you know, long they are. So uh, yeah, your seat might be different. Your toilet's probably different. Everybody's body's different. So just make your own measurements. Ready to. That's the Saskatchewan! Okay, so now we've got the spacers put on here. You can see right there, right there. All that remains is put the little hinges on the back, like right here. So all we need to do now is get a couple more measurements worked. 
You know what we'll do is we'll just reuse the hinges that are already there so that we don't have to risk any more loss of property and tools. So, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just make use of what's already there. You don't call us Yankees for nothing, eh? Okay, so now we're just doing a little wood burning to make it all decorative like. Because, you know, if you can't have a fancy toilet seat, what can you have that's fancy? Um, okay, so now we just need to put a little bit of varnish on it. And so what you need to do, since this is going to be exposed to moisture, because, you know, boys will be boys, you know. So you just need to get spar varnish. It's, it's made for like yachts, so they don't rot and sink. So just put it on there and uh, we'll be pretty much done. Um, okay, just a note on uh, applying varnish. Once you've got one coat on there, it's, it's pretty nice, but uh, you probably want more than that. So when you're putting on extra coats, you need to scratch up the surface a little bit so the new varnish can stick to it a little bit. So, you know, some people say you need to use steel wool, some people say you have to use sandpaper. It doesn't really matter, you know. Um, just anything that's a little bit scratchy will scratch up the surface and then uh, your uh, new varnish can stick to it. That's all you need. Um, okay, so we have it all put together now. We just screwed it on using the old hinges from the old toilet seat. And you can see it's a pretty good fit. Pretty solid. I think just about any butt would fit on that, eh? So, here you go, eh? And there you have it, you know. A um, little bit of wood burning to make it all comfortable like for everybody to be able to use it in any position. So, uh, nice easy toilet seat. So, until next time, uh, see you at Sears, eh?